Hello guys, this is Dr. Ranjit again. Welcome back. So uh, today we are going to discuss one more question which came in the NEET PG 2021, the question number 12. This is a very very simple question. I am sure that almost everyone who attended the NEET PG exam would have answered this because it's one of the most or maybe the only microscopy which you are aware of it in your systemic pathology, your ash of bodies, when you are in second year, not when you are preparing for NEET PG. Right? From second year onwards, we know the cell caterpillar nuclei. I was told this was the image given and some other students said that it was the original ash of body which is given in Robbins. Whatever, you, I'm sure from the second year, one slide if you're confident or not is your ash of bodies, right? We'll go back to the question. The question has information which can easily lead to a rheumatic heart disease if you, if you if at all you don't know the image, right? I'm sure you must have cracked the image easily. A 12 year old kid, history of fatigue and breathlessness came to the OPD, is found to have a murmur. The kid's parents gave a history of sore throat a couple of weeks back. A very classical history. Sore throat, after that murmur, due to carditis, due to the molecular mimicry of the streptococcus organisms, and you have a classical diagnosis one, rheumatic heart disease. And you have the image here, which are the, uh, the tissue diagnosis of the kid is as below given, which of the following is the most likely diagnosis. It has to be an astral body. It's not a granuloma. Like it, it's so pains for me to say that it's not granuloma, because I am always hell-bound on tuberculosis. This is not tuberculosis. This is ash of body. One more MCQ which came on ash of body previously was your uh, ash of body can have fibrinoid necrosis because you must have read fibrinoid necrosis throughout the pathology in vasculitis. Heart is the biggest vessel, so any damage which happens in the heart can damage the endocardium, which is nothing but like an endothelial layer. So I can have fibrinoid necrosis also in my ash of body. Fine. It's definitely not granulomatous vasculitis or my granuloma. It's a clear cut case of rheumatic heart disease and the microscopy is ash of bodies. Just to discuss something related to heart finding here, I'm just going to take some time and discuss about the vegetations. So first thing, when I say something as vegetation, which is irregularity in the cardiac valves. We have four different types of vegetations. There are n number of MCQs just come on this. The first thing you look at this, this is my cauda tendine, right? This is your valve leaflet or the valve cusp. So I have a cauda tendine like this and I have a valve cusp like this. So rheumatic heart disease vegetation will be exactly seen on the corners of the cuff, right? The valve cusp, it will be seen exactly in the corners. When I see them, they are very, very tiny, right? We call these vegetations veruke. That's my first MCQ. The second place where some of you might fall is these rheumatic heart disease vegetations are sterile. They don't have any microorganisms. Though it is related to streptococcus, these are due to immune mediated damage. I won't see anything, right? These are sterile vegetations. The only vegetations which we see in uh, heart is this infective endocarditis vegetation. They are large, they are friable, they are fragile, they are bulky, and you can see them. They are actually they have destroyed it as well, right? It has actually destroyed my uh, cauda tendine. It has actually destroyed my valves. The only vegetation which has infection is this. The only vegetation which destroys a, a cardiac valve is infective endocarditis. The only vegetation which is very fragile and can give rise to an embolus is again infective endocarditis, right? Coming back to the other two. The other two vegetations are also quite common. NBT. NBT stands for non-bacterial thrombotic endocarditis, right? So which means it's non-bacterial. That itself tells me it is sterile. Thrombotic. That gives me another information that this guys, what is there on the surface of the valve is nothing but a thrombus, which means any disease which is prothrombotic, apla, can I have this? Your DIC, can I have this? Leukemias, AML M3, which can cause DIC, can I have this? Trossia syndrome, pancreatic cancer, can I have this? Any prothrombotic state can have NBT. Non bacterial, it's only thrombus. In my endocardium, I'm going to call it endocarditis. Last one is your Libman Sachs endocarditis, right? Libman Sachs endocarditis, if you look at the word LSE itself, it looks like SLA, right? So it's seen in SLA, Libman Sachs endocarditis. The unique thing about this, this vegetation is, look here, this is the only place where it has been lifted and you can see the vegetation on the other side as well. You can see the vegetation on the both sides of the valve leaflet, that's diagnostic of a Lipman Sachs endocarditis. They are also small, again it's SLE related, so they are going to be made of immune complex and nothing bacterial, again they are also sterile. As I said, the only infected is going to be infective endocarditis, right? So something related to heart and the rheumatic heart disease. Though it's a very very old question, they have asked a microscopy picture of ash of bodies which tells the examiners looking for something an undergraduate need to know. I'm very happy with this question at least. It's, it's a very basic thing. An undergraduate is expected to know 12 year old murmur 
post strepto uh, post sore throat it's going to be in rheumatic heart disease and asha body is also required to know so it's a very very reasonable question to ask right so that's all about this question discussion to download the academy app we have a lots of test series coming up for you and we have up to uh, there's an academy combat i hope you will guys will write them on october 20th that will fetch you top 200 people is going to get uh, prizes hope you won amongst them and we have lots of innocent revisions set up for you all of them are free do download them and watch them if you have any comments in anything related to the language of the question do comment below like and subscribe to the channel and keep watching the videos uh, we'll be releasing all the 22 videos in due course till then bye bye from dr anjit bye bye